Hi everyone, welcome back. While food and drinks does not often remind me of any products, these orange beverages, however, do remind me of the Ashrock B650 Live Mixer motherboard that is here with me in the lab. And so here it is, the board that caught a lot of people's attention, not just because of the color, but because of the amount of USB ports. We'll talk about this later on how people could actually use up that many USB ports. Sure, there's 12 USB, actually 13 USB Type-A ports at the rear and one USB Type-C port. But some of you may be thinking, who on earth uses that many USB ports? What do, can be used in the USB ports? I'll dive into that after the overhead cam overview of the Ashrock B650 Live Mixer motherboard. All right, so this is the overhead cam view. The live mixer is beautiful, at least in my opinion, it is beautiful. Bright orange color. So let's start off with the VRM part, which is 14 plus 2 plus 1. And I like that the heat sink, as you can see, is huge. And it's uh, it's not the type that just metal in here and plastic. It is full metal over here and metal over there as well. Both are big pieces. It has metal heatsink for the PCIe Gen 5 uh, slot uh, storage. All the rest are Gen 4. The PCIe slot here is PCIe Gen 4. Um, two 8-pin CPU connectors, ATX as always. And then fan headers, two over here, which I prefer them to put it together. And then one fan header at the back here. And I like that there's three fan headers here. Um, there's only two SATA ports and for USB. There's two USB 3.0 connector and then USB Type-C connector at the front again. And ARGB connectors, two down here, one over here. And this is a UART connector. So there's three, at least from what I see, there's three uh, ARGB headers. So yes, it's actually nice. But what I want to show you is this part, the USB ports, which I think is their uh, the unique selling point of it, which is 13 USB Type A and one Type C. There's USB 3. Point, USB 3.2 are here, all right, and these are USB 2.0s. So eight 2.0s, 3.2s. These two are Gen 1. Uh, these two are Gen 1. These two are Gen 2. And this, there's a ultra USB power. It means that there's more power. Uh, provided through this one. So this is like maybe you want to for expansion of USB port to power more things. That's the one to go. While the Lightning Gaming, according to the description, is for your keyboard and mouse. And of course, these two, the USB 3.2 Gen 2 uh, for whatever your internet usage is. So definitely, yes, if those of you who always find your lacking of USB ports, do consider this motherboard definitely something it's um how you say uh, something that's very unique because uh, even as myself sometimes uh, i do find myself lacking of usb ports that's where i resort to usb expansion devices whether it's pcie or um, through usb port yep so yeah this is the top down view and well with that done let's head back to discussing about how one does one actually use all these USB ports. Like I mentioned there's USB uh, 2.0, USB 3.2 and all that. So without further ado, let's go into the details. I've actually spent my time to think of what can be used on a system that has USB ports as such and how people use it. And wow, I actually came up with a list of some 20 devices that you can use and you probably can come up even more after you hear what I have to say. So, and this board is heavy, so it's going to be sitting here. Let's begin. Typically, you will have one keyboard, two mouse. That's the uh, bare basic. And for a third device, some of you may want to actually, or may have a mouse pad that has ARGB LED. That actually has a, needs to be connected to a USB port as well. Fourth item, webcam. Fifth item, headphone. These are just common stuff for people to use for work or play. Then there's the microphone. After all, some microphones are 
on the headphone itself but some people they're using stuff like say Blue Yeti or whatever things so yes the USB headphone is uh, sorry USB microphone is one which is six then capture devices capture devices can be audio capture it can be um, video capture from other things whichever yeah so that's number seven and then there are others for connectivity um, let's say you have devices that use Bluetooth or your system does not have Bluetooth and it needs uh, an adapter it will definitely occupy a USB port and then some of you your motherboard don't have uh, Wi-Fi connectivity and you're you are going to use LAN then you have to use a Wi-Fi device on the USB port of course you can say that um, you can use it on the PCIe slot those kind of Wi-Fi device but regardless we are talking about possible devices for USB port so a Wi-Fi device and that's it so that's number nine number ten gamepad I for one game on a gamepad on certain games so yeah if you're a content creator or gamer on gaming on your system a gamepad would be you know, something nice to uh, so be could be using the USB ports now we've already hit 10 devices and there's actually 10 more to go then there's input pad input pad can is like um, a Wacom tablet the Wacom tablet you know that device so there's a tablet and you have a pen for drawing some uh, content creators streamers do that so as you can see a lot of things that are going through are related to streamers which because that's what the thing is live mixer and if you go to the product page you see that it's a lot about content creation and content creators well streamers are them and as you know streamers have a lot of devices so let's move on number 12 uh, MIDI instrument MIDI, MIDI instruments is like keyboards or those uh, pads or anything that's um, for people to connect and generate music and then uh, for me, the device number 13 is smartphone because I USB charge to my device use for file transfer and such and then there's monitor lights or you call that light bar and that's um, something that's useful as well I use it too and it occupies a USB port and USB card reader if you're a photographer, a videographer like myself, content creator definitely one of the USB port is, is going to be occupied by a card reader so we've reached 15 right now and next up you have stuff like the Elgato deck I don't know what to call that um, it was just Elgato stream deck if I'm not mistaken yes yeah, so that's a shortcut device it's a category on its own I guess I'm not sure but I'm just putting it at number 16 anyway then there's stuff like printers people still use to print if I mean if you're regardless of what yeah I mean you can be um, you can be a property agent, want to print a document, you can be a lawyer, you can whatever. A lot of people actually use a printer for documents. Some maybe you're an artist and you, you are using a color printer for your proofing and all these things. And then there's scanners. There are people who use scanners still. Um, I don't use them anymore, but yes, scanners that will fall under item number 18 now. And then there's hard disk docks, like those are from if like if you've seen those like from Orico where you can connect and you can uh, dock your hard drives and transfer stuff those are definitely going to use USB port as well and lastly fan and lights um, lights will be like a light bar but who knows you want to um, buy something from places like Mr. DIY and it like has a USB light or fan I mean our weather can be hot and sometimes we don't use air conditioning you can attach USB fans as well so Basically, there's 20 devices easily right now from the list I've provided. And of course, if that is still insufficient for you, there are PCIe slots over here. Uh, two of these long ones that you can attach additional USB device, uh, USB expansion hubs if you want. And even the ports here, there are also USB type hubs that you can even expand further for some for whatever reason that you need to use more than 10 I mean I personally will not be using 20 but I think 10 is highly possible especially um, if you are like me like wanted to test out various mouse and test out various keyboards you know you have one keyboard and we're working on another keyboard that easily is going to occupy more USB ports so basically that's it for the USB counting thing phew so if this motherboard ever enters Malaysia, which is currently this is the one and only, if ever it does come into Malaysia, it will retail at about somewhere around 
RM1200 to RM1300 range, which I think is a good value, especially if you are like uh, someone who is able to utilize all those USB ports. So uh, that's it. Solid stuff from ASRock. I'm actually very pleased that, you know, initially when the leaks uh, came out, I saw the PCB was ugly. But when I see the finished product, actually, <laughs> it's quite nice. It's a very bold design. Um, it's going to be a hit and miss, that, that's for sure. It's going to hit those that like this radical, awesome looking graffiti style um, street work, street art kind of uh, appearance. And certainly will not hit people who find this. Uh, yeah, I know people who find it. There are people who. Yeah, I, I know there are people who found it to be ugly, but um, that's. Uh, I'd say design is preference. For me, I admit, when I first saw the PCB without the heat sinks, I thought it's gonna be ugly, but it actually turned out looking nice. And definitely, I have I have prepared a build for to use uh, this motherboard. Do check out later on that one. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay awesome, thank, and do remember to come back for more uh, videos. That's all for this one, and bye bye.